Hello, this is Ratelaine um, from Dot Physics, and I'm going to show you how to use the new auto tracker feature of Tracker Video Analysis. So I've got a, I've got a, I've got it opened up already. I've already downloaded it, and I have a video. So I'm going to go ahead and import that video um, right there, and it's a big video. You can download it from Vimeo if you want to to do this. There's my plane that I'm going to track. Uh, the first thing I want to do is scale the video. I I've already looked up. It puts the scale over here. Um, I've already looked up how big it is. It's about 30.5 meters. So let me zoom in here so I can get this better. So I'm just going to put this right there. Going as quick as I can so the video doesn't take too long. And then I'm going to make this 30.5. Done. Okay. Now I can zoom out back to 1. That's fine. And you can move that wherever you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm going to go to Tracks, New Point Mass, and that, that's my point mass. And the old way would be to click on this each time and the plane in each frame, but there's a lot of frames here, and uh, I'm lazy, and Tracker video is awesome. So use Auto Tracker, and it really steps you through here and tells you what to do. Um, so click the video feature you would wish to track. So I want to track this. Okay. Um, now I can resize how big of an area I want to look at. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to include the whole thing. That's probably good enough. And then the next thing I want to do is uh, what point on that object you want to track. And this just pick the center of that circle. And that's fine because I'm not looking at anything crazy or anything like that. Um, next, this is the scoring ability. It evaluates each frame and says, okay, should this video count or not? I'm going to move this down real low. I've done it at 2 and 1 and sometimes it finds some... I've done it at 2. Sometimes you'll find things like, okay, well that may may not be good and you have to manually accept it. And I don't like that. So this is a pretty straightforward file. There's nothing around it. It's it's flying with the background as the sky. So this should work. And then this shows this little box here. It says, where should I search for this? If you look ahead and it's not moving very fast, you shouldn't have a problem. So I'm going to click Start and let's just see what happens. And you see here, it's automatically um, finding the location of the plane and moving the frame forward and taking data and I don't have to do anything. I guess I could, could let this run the whole time. Or should I stop it? Well, I'll let it run the whole time. It, it'll only take a, a few more seconds. Um, maybe I, I had a joke here, I could tell you, but I didn't plan ahead. You can, you know, you can look at this while it's doing it and make sure it's still in the correct location all that. Um, in this case, I think everything's fine. Let's scroll my video over here so I can watch it. Well, we're only about halfway done, but it's going as fast as it can. Almost there. Well, that's good. It looks like when I when I used a, a threshold level of three in the middle for some reason, maybe it's the change of lighting or something. I, I had to accept it. Say, you know, I'm not sure about this position. Accept it, and I had to do that. So if you if you have some other video that like that, it, it may may be important. One thing I will point out while it's almost finished: look at the frame number. A lot of clicking, even though it's pretty straightforward clicking, it'd still be a lot. Okay, there it it, it finished. Okay, and there's my data right there. So this is showing uh, position versus time. Let me just say I wanted to find the acceleration of this um, I, of, in the X direction. I can um, go to Analyze, and then I can fit 
Uh, let's assume it, it, I don't know, but let's assume it's accelerating at a, at a constant rate, then a parabola would fit this data quite well. And I do auto fit, and it fit the line in there. You can't see it fits so well. And it gives me the, the values right there. So I'll, I'll show you some more analysis I get from this, um, but, but that's how you do the, the auto tracker in uh, video, in, in uh, tracker video analysis.